a hot start to the week, and that's not the only thing heating up. It is Monday, June 5th, and here's what you need to know. Two men now under a... Many people say Sacramento has always had an identity crisis. Is it just the town halfway between San Francisco and Lake Tahoe? City of trees, farm to fork. That got some in the newsroom talking today. And the one thing we all agreed on is that Sacramento is charming, especially when it comes to our historic architecture. But is that charm being traded for perceived progress? Ananda Rochita asks the question, is Sacramento starting to lose its soul? Was built in bring your grumble of pubs. All That's right. right. Some warm starts <laughs> of the week and while McKinley Pool was closed to humans today, it was okay for the ducks. They jumped in for a swim and Monica after this warm start looks like things are going to be changing for us. They a bit. certainly are. I know it was a little toasty for some folks. One more day of this, but it's not going to be right. a big transition tomorrow, but it's on the way. More on the timing coming up in 10 minutes. All right. Thank you very mm -hmm. much, Monica. A local mom is gaining attention after landing on Fast Company magazine's list of 100 most creative people in business for a tech company she started that helps parents pay their child support. Well, ABC 10's Liz Kreutz swung by her office today to learn more about the business and the Sacramento woman behind it. It's no straits, ABC 10 News. Well, tonight, an update to a story we brought you two weeks ago. We are happy to report that Isela Scroggins from Turlock and her friend Rocio Valencia are now recovering from a successful live kidney donation surgery. Now, we followed the two during their last nail appointment together in May. Scroggins had been diagnosed with lupus in 2003. The disease attacked her kidneys and she soon had to start dialysis nine hours a day while waiting for a donation. Scroggins had been waiting on a list for two years, along with over 100,000 other people in need. Well, after Scroggins family and other friends were unsuccessful for finding a match, Valencia stepped up to the plate and decided to donate herself. Both women are cosmetologists. They will be out of work for the summer as they heal. They have GoFundMe pages to help compensate them for the loss of work. We have the GoFundMe links and their full story online. Just go to abc10.com to check it out. Well, so many people wanted to know what Apple had up its sleeve. Tonight, we know the answer and see why tonight's theme night at Sacramento's Dive Bar was so different than the others. You're watching Late News Tonight on the ABC 10 Information Network. If you've ever been to K Street in downtown Sacramento, you've likely been to one of these three spots. Uh, Pizza Rock, District 30, or Dive Bar. They're busy, full of life, but tonight they are grieving the loss of one of their own. Arturo Betancourt, known as JR, was most recently a bartender at Dive Bar, and he died unexpectedly yesterday. As ABC 10's Francis Wang shows us tonight, they are honoring him and going all out for his family. There's not a there has already been a GoFundMe set up, and tonight 100% of the proceeds will be going to JR's family, mostly for the care of his young daughter. All right, nice and warm out there, just as we expect it, it for you. It is, yes. You know, it's kind of nice when we have. She is smart, beautiful, accomplished, and making history as the first African-American bachelorette. So, why hasn't she found love yet? It's a question lots of women may be asking themselves, and we thought this is a good time to get some sage dating advice. So we sent David Schechter to Presbyterian Village North, a senior living community, to get you some dating advice from grandmas. So listen to your grandma or someone else's. We'll be right back. 